Welcome back to the channel guys. So in this episode we will be covering a very interesting vulnerability. So this vulnerability is called uh, vertical privilege escalation and it comes under P1 or uh, P2 category. Mostly it will be covered under P1 but uh, sometimes uh, it will be demoted to P2 as well. So uh, here is a web application called any task platform. So Let's uh, log in here once. I want to show you uh, how the uh, user panel looks like. So uh, we can see that uh, this is the uh, user panel and we can see that there's nothing, uh, no option which uh, redirects us to the admin dashboard. So uh, let's <clears throat> Try login, uh, logging in as a uh, admin. So uh, we will intercept the uh, post request. So here is the post request. When we uh, request the uh, intercept the response to it, we will uh, see that there's a token which is leaked through the response. So let's uh, decrypt the token. Try decrypting the token. Uh, so here is the here is a website called token.dev. You can check it out, or you can also uh, use jwt.io. Both are uh, equally fun functionable and both are good. So let's use token.dev for in this case. So just uh, paste here. You can see that the complete information of the uh, token is leaked as uh, the algorithm is RS-256 and it can be decrypted. As it is decrypted, let's try modifying some information here. So we can see that we are logging in as a user. Let's change it to admin. And we can see that uh, some information here is changed. You can see that. So let's copy the token and let's replace it. So as we replace it, let's forward the request and turn in, uh, the proxy off. Uh, so here we are, we are logged in and you can see that here's an option for admin dashboard. So uh, as we have uh, escalated our uh, privileges, so this is called vertical privilege escalation as you can uh, uh, assign yourself the admin role uh, without even the permission of the site owners. So this vulnerability comes under P1 category. Uh, in this case, in this particular case, the vulnerability is resolved. Uh, so you will be redirected to the main website only. But in some cases, uh, in, if you find this vulnerability, you will be uh, redirected to, uh, um, to a uh, admin panel or admin dashboard from where you can uh, make multiple changes. So this this vulnerability uh, will easily pay pay you a bounty over thousand dollars or even more so yeah if you guys have any problem you can uh, comment in the video and uh, we will solve your problem so that's pretty much it for this video i hope i see you in the next video bye bye till then